At the top tonight, tributes continued to pour in following the death of Coastal Bend native and political trailblazer Frances Sissy Fahrenthold. She died over the weekend after a long, hard fought battle with Parkinson's disease. And tonight we're hearing from Fahrenthold's son as well as former Corpus Christi Mayor Nelda Martinez about how Fahrenthold will be remembered. Our Bill Churchwell is here right now for the top story. She has quite an amazing story. She was born in Corpus Christi and spent her life working for equal rights and social justice. She literally was the personification of righteousness and compassion. And of course, as a lawyer, justice. George Farenthold says that is exactly how he will remember his mother, Sissy Farenthold. It was during her time as director of the Nueces County Legal Aid Program back in 1965, he says, motivated her to stand up against social injustices. You know, poor people, by and large, Mexican-American folks, weren't getting a fair shake, not in housing, not in um, employment. It would even inspire Farenthold to run for the Texas legislature, and in 1968, she won, becoming the only woman to serve alongside 149 men in the Texas House. It was the, the first woman in Nueces County that was elected, and she was representative Clayburg and Nueces County. Former Corpus Christi Mayor Nelda Martinez calling Farenthold a woman before her time. Hopefully people will remember the Sharpstown uh, scandal. She was standing up on the floor trying to get legislation done and also trying to get an investigation on the speaker who was a crony and corrupt and um, he said woman sit down and she would not. She's the reason why we have the Texas Public Information Act. She's the reason why we have the Texas Open Meetings Act. Farenthold's fighting spirit would eventually catch attention on the national level during the 1972 Democratic National Convention. My sister was there at the convention with her when Gloria Steinem put her name and nomination for the vice presidency, which was historic. There had never been a woman nominated from the floor of the Democratic Convention. She came in second in the balloting. And you can look at Congress today, 49 years later, and we almost have parity. We almost have equality between men and women. And without being um, too grandiose, I don't believe that would have happened without young women of this time and the generation before who saw someone like Sissy Farenthold making it possible to hold office. Frances Sissy Farenthold died peacefully at home in Houston, surrounded by family. She died six days shy of her 95th birthday. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.